Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Bellicor the Dark, the Dark Master, the Dark Master playthrough here in Total War Warhammer 2. Obviously a modded playthrough with the OVN Faction Unlocker, where we've just bumped into some other pretenders for the Chaos Throne who are going to be wiped out as soon as I get the chance. We're just going to go and smash them and rip them apart soon, guys. Um, but yeah. This playthrough is going very well so far. Um, I've got another army somewhere. Where are you? Ah, you're down here. Yes. Uh, where is Bretonia's last settlement hiding from me? Um... This is oh yeah, they, they confederated down there. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Let's end turn. Nice little chaos war, war against the other forces of chaos soon. Um, I'm probably well off enough to start recruiting another army as well now, so I'm going to start doing that. Obviously, we are allied with Skaven down here. Somebody did say I should um, vassalize them, but I don't have the choice. Um, I don't appear to be able to vassalize anybody, annoyingly, but it is what it is. No, we are going to, as I said, deal with that, and potentially take on the Empire. I, I've not decided whether I'm ready to take on the Empire yet. I mean, theoretically, I could become friends with the Empire. Spend all my money and make friends with the Empire would be an interesting one. But no, uh, going to smash the, the, um, the Cabal. These fake chaos. Uh, false chaos lords there who I will crush utterly. Where is my best place to build? I think it is actually here. Right. Oh yeah, I want to get blood. F oh yes. I can only have one. Ah, is that one per building or? I think I can only have one blood first turn, which is possibly sensible because I suspect it's going to be a little OP. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a little OP. <laughs> Uh, a couple of units of Chaos Knights. Uh, I think for me, a then are not anti large. Do we have chosen? Can I get chosen yet? There we go. Four units have chosen into the six units. Five units. Yes. So try to balance this out so I get the army in four turns. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six units have chosen. Sorry, I know I'm, I'm messing around here a lot, but I basically want to get the army recruited as quickly as possible. So for me, a fen costs the most. So if I want four of them, I want to get them there. One, two, three, four, five. Four of them. And I want to recruit my chosen from up here. Ooh. Why I would want him, I do not know. Especially when he's, you know, well, I don't get why he's a late game unit. I can only recruit five. That'll do for the time being anyway. 
And what I want to do is get... Uh, oh. Hmm. Yeah, a caster in there as well, but no need to rush that. A lot of stuff can be pulled out of this army. We'll be tweaking the armies around a bit as well, obvious, for obvious reasons, but yeah. Um, this is going to be a fairly hefty army, to put it mildly. Um, uh, with that... Um, ah, blood first to at its core. Oh look, Bretonia's trying to sneak up on me! <laughs> Isn't it cute? Through the Skaven lands, which are struggling because of chaos. Oh, you fool. I mean, they are burning through the Empire, admittedly, but they are going to get smashed shortly. Because you are not the true heirs of chaos. Oh, beautiful ambush here as well, uh, which gives me all the odds in why you think this is a nasty force I'm facing about, to be fair. I'm sorry, this is an ambush? I think I'm crashing, guys. No, 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 don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Oh, god damn it. Uh, the game appears to have crashed, so we will put a cut in here. Okay, well, after that uh, crash, <laughs> we've uh, finished off this little army here and declared war on the Cabal. Uh, don't know what caused the crash, but it is okay. what it is. I am so tempted. I am so very tempted. I'm going to leave it for now until I've got this other army readied for future conquest. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got a reasonable amount there. I've got a hell of a lot of Vermeer in there. Oh, I want some cavalry as well, don't I? And that puts me at 20, so four cavalry. That's a hell of a force, actually. Um, Chosen will make the front line, the Vermeer will be my murdering everything units. So yeah, five turns and we will have that army coming, uh, surging forth from the ruins of what was once Caron. Um, the glorious leaders of the Caron guys, you know, the, uh, the uh, Chaos Knights, obviously corrupted Bretonian Knights there guys. Uh, <laughs> And as will the Chosen be. All of them, you know, will be former, former Br Bretonian knights. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Who have chosen to serve their correct lord. This little force, which is sneaking up, is going to get to my lands and then get absolutely demolished by my army, which is down around there. Um, which is all good fun. <laughs> um, I, I can't wait to see what the Bloodfurster is like in battle. I suspect he is going to be something special. Hmm. Can I cheat? I, I used to zoom to where the army was in situations like this. If the Empire wants to declare war on me, it can. Ah! There! Oh, that's not even their main leader. Ooh, he may be. Ooh, he looks interesting. Looks quite a nasty little army. For me to, mur to murder next turn. What? Am I taking attrition?
There we go. Just keeping putting my income up a bit there. I love how glorious uh, Ulf One is beginning to look under the malice of my immense cloud of corruption there. All the greenery is slowly burning away as the corruption completes itself over there. Oh, they're trying to sneak and take here. I'm gonna smash them next turn. Save Middenstag! Oh, maybe not. We'll save the Empire, guys. I am... Unless, uh, unless the Empire declares war on me, I am very tempted just to leave them alone for fun. Try and get... I am half tempted to try and actually get them on side. Oh, it's glorious here. What's that? You can't... It, it's, it's so hard to get yourself to 100% corruption. This army is getting quite expensive. Ooh, we have horsemen as well. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. I may have overreached. I may actually have a battle on, on my hand there for a change. Not that I'm worried, they've got a tiny little force there. Even if they manage to take it, I can march back in the turn after. How much money do you think I need to throw at the Empire to get them on side? No, take this coastline. Befriend, bef befriend the Empire. Uh, put, see if I can push them enough to forge them into an alliance with us. Ooh, vampire counts are there. Okay, at least this will be an interesting fight. Uh, they've got a reasonable amount of cavalry. Oh, they've got a second army. So a pants to Leoness as well. So her cavalry will be very good. But she doesn't have big Henry with her. Uh, Henry Massive and Henry, Henry Le Massif. Uh, whatever. Big, big Henry. Um... I'm not even going to be subtle here. They're not quite hitting as we should. I hate this misty because it just puts this horrible little blur on the units, which I don't actually like. Pin them. Knights are kind of pushing us around a bit there, but we're doing fine. We're barely taking any damage so far, so... Oh, you... Damn it! I wanted to try and pin them in. Oh well, hit the Battle Pilgrims instead. So effectively, they should be using the cavalry to get around behind me massively here, but they're the AI, so... Let's 
try and pull these guys out while these guys crush them. To be honest, it, 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 these guys, you know, considering they are still fighting against, even fighting against us, is impressive. Considering the monstrous line we've got here. Oh, perfect! You may have the charge. I have the anti-large. Absolutely shred that unit, guys. Get it pinned and kill it. That's it. We found the dot. Blood for all. Alahard de Leonis, not doing well there. Let's kill the Grail, Grail or Reliquy. I can do a bit of good old fashion control A action here now. Do not let her escape. Oh no. She is dead. There's nothing she can do. She's trying to run away, but she's just stuck uh, with surrounded by all my monstrous. I mean, you can barely see her in there. I'll kill Alahard. Nah, I don't care about him. Killing Rapance is enough. <laughs> Beautiful guys. Um, I'm quite happy with that. That went well. Um, oh, I wonder if in my... Oh, I hadn't even twigged there. I wonder if in my Bretonia campaign I can confederate Repants. Hmm, interesting to find out. Something I'll have to find out. I have to find her. Send an agent down to find her first, but that would be an interesting one because she is a very powerful legendary lord. And if I can get Big Henry as well. Oh... Oh, more Bretonian slaves. High level. The, the I know somebody said I'd struggle with just Vermeer. I think if I just did Vermeer, I think I'd be fine. Once you get to high level Vermeer, low level I can understand the concern, but high level they are deadly. Ooh, ooh, that's interesting. Oh, he double timed. Do I have lightning strike? Do I need lightning strike? I am going to save because last time I fought the Cabal, something I made me crash. Come on, fingers crossed we don't crash. Yeah, I think it, it could be something to do with mods conflicting, but we'll see. Doesn't look like I'm crashing. I was half tempted to auto it there just in case, which would have been a bit cowardly of me, but no, obviously. Akod Helbras is already damaged. Um, so this is going to be a fast advance into the enemy, guys. Uh, no subtlety. Who needs subtlety, anyway? Oh, I love it when it doesn't do what I tell it to do. I 
I know full well Bellacor is going to end up out in front because he is just fast. Ooh, we've got somebody on a dragon. Two people can play that game. Sorry, they, I did mess up my charge in there. Absolutely battering them already as well. This is... Uh, I've, I've lost control of this already, actually. I've messed this up properly. Um, basically, it's just turned into a skirmish straight into skirmish now. Because um, I wasn't paying enough attention. You can charge in there. I am actually losing units here. God damn. I think we're going to win, but not as well as I should be. I mean, effectively, I'm fighting another fully-fledged Chaos Army here with lots of Chosen, which are tough. But I am planning on replacing these guys with Chosen, so maybe burning a few off isn't a bad thing. Right, get in there and kill Engrim von Horstmann. He needs to fall fast. That unit of Chaos Warriors is dead. You guys can slam over here to support them. I've actually taken damage, guys. Good God. Let's finish off these units here. Oh, you want to fight Bellacor, do you, Mr. Horseman? And they're breaking. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm I'm going to admit I was getting a little worried for a minute there. I was getting a little concerned there for a minute because I took a lot more damage in that initial. I messed up. I, my plan was to have the double lines to form up and engage them nicely and then use my uh, Vermeer to slam in as a kind of second wave. And they hit me far faster than I was expecting. And I, yeah, I was not in control of that battle in the slightest. That is not, I'm getting cocky with Bellacor. And that was my first real enemy who was powerful. And I still won. Don't get me wrong. We, we still kicked butt. But 
we took a lot more losses than I should have, and I may have actually lost some of these Chaos Warriors who've been with us for a long, long time. I mean, don't get me wrong, they will have died gloriously for the, uh, for the true, ever-chosen Bellicor the Dark Master, but still. I don't think I have anything which doesn't provide fear and terror. Ugh. Oh, that's easy. I'm. Um, that's an easy auto. There we go. And the cabal has been shown what happens to traitors who don't follow the true dark master. We're gonna pull back a bit. This is going nicely. Two turns. Slowly spending all my money. I will hear your petition, See? but make no promises to act on it. Franz likes me. <laughs> there is, or there used to be, a wonderful mod for Warhammer One, which I really, really like. And it, it redid the whole... Di I, I can't even find it anymore. I had a look for it. I can't even remember what it's called. But it redid the diplomatic system. Um, basically. So what it did... How it worked was the... Um, effectively, while you had the balance of power. So as you get big, obviously you get the negative because you're big. And people don't like you because you're a great power. But uh, to balance that out, it had a positive you got depending on how powerful you are, you were. So if you, you had obviously had negatives from being a great power, but mass but but if you were great also really powerful, you had lots of positives. Now what was so nice about it not happening what was so nice about it was it actually led to a really interesting dynamic. Because if you're a great power, you people were around you would be f if it the way it described it wanted to make it like they were friends with you because you were powerful, because they were scared of you. So if you ended up in a big war between another great power and yourself, as you both got weaker, the public order benefit dropped. Um, I think they did it so it's quite extreme. So basically, not public order, sorry, diplomatic friendship alteration. So basically, as you got more and more powerful or oh, we want to head this way actually to uh, get our army um, as you went to wars and lost if you lost a few armies it could very quickly uh, tumble you into actual lots all the little factions around you would see the opening and the opportunity and jump onto you and it was fantastically fun because it worked so it, 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 it I mean my experience, it could be because it was how I was expecting it to work, but my experience was it actually really worked quite nicely. It made it much more um, dynamic. So if you're a big power and you were weak, the little powers would definitely seize the opportunity and attack you to try and take you on, which meant as a big power, you had to be much, much more careful, which was so cool. Anyway, another end turn here. Um... So if any modders are watching, that is a mod I would love to see making a resurgence. Um, I don't know how it was balanced, if I'm honest. I'm the worst person to be, uh, you know, to be talking about it. But it was so good in the way it balanced it all. Because it just meant being big. Um, it balanced that. Because the great power negative always feels a bit crappy. But it meant, you know, two great powers would kind of, you know, would kind of balance each other out. You'd obviously be friends because you're powerful but if you did go to war it just led to a big war led to or even losing one or two powerful armies 
you know, situations like me where I've got one or two or three really powerful armies, it would lead to this position where literally you would get your butts kicked uh, by all the little powers ganging up on you from behind. Really? Do you take me for a child? Anyway, guys, this is where we're going to end this one for today. So thank you for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed it. And as always, um, a massive, massive thank you to my patrons as well. Please do like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this. Cheers, guys.